millions of years ago, nature structured thousands of hydrogen and carbon combinations to create crude oil. Modern man learned how to fraction these hydrocarbons into aromatics, naphthenes, and paraffins, and to further refine them into fuels and lubricating oils. These lubricating oils, so essential to internal combustion engines, are frequently misunderstood and misused. Yet their role is vital to engine power, performance, and reliability. With the low-powered engines of yesteryear, all we asked of an engine oil was lubrication to reduce friction and wear. But today's high-powered engines operate under heavier loads, faster speeds, at higher compression and temperatures, and moving parts are fit to much closer tolerances. We now know that what we traditionally refer to as lubricating oil actually serves four purposes, to lubricate, cool, seal, and clean. Any time there is metal-to-metal -metal contact between moving parts, scuffing, scoring, or wear is bound to occur. Wear also results from acid, corrosion, rusting, and abrasion caused by contaminants. So oil is required for lubrication. Engine oil must also help cool the engine. Heat is transferred through an oil film to the cylinder walls and cooling system. Heat is carried from the underside of the piston crown and skirt to the engine crankcase. Bearing temperatures are minimized by the oil to prevent failures. Piston rings alone cannot create a seal between the cylinder wall and the piston against the tremendous pressures of combustion. They depend on an oil film to create a seal, thus minimizing blow-by. During engine operation, deposits form on the piston and rings. These deposits include unburned and partially burned fuel, corrosive acids, dust and dirt, and water. The oil must remove these to prevent ring sticking and excessive wear. So oil is used for cleaning. Lubricating, cooling, sealing, and cleaning. The four functions which engine oils must accomplish. Each is equally important. If any one of these functions is impaired, so are the other three. Because these functions are interrelated. When the oil is accomplishing its four purposes equally, it's in balance. None of the functions has been stressed at the expense of another. Engine oil ratings and classifications are sometimes misunderstood, although they're of vital importance to the user. Best known, perhaps, is the Society of Automotive Engineers, or SAE classification, which measures the oil's viscosity, that is, its fluidity at a given temperature. Various additives are used to create multi-viscosity oils, which can be very useful during times of rapid and extreme temperature changes. Oil is further rated by API and military specifications. But the best way to decide what oil to use is to consult the operator's manual, where SAE weight and other ratings are clearly spelled out. Above all, by quality. There is no such thing as cheap oil. The lower its quality, the more it costs in the long run. Oil contamination is inevitable. From the time new oil is poured in the crankcase, it immediately starts to become contaminated. The important thing is to drain the oil before it becomes saturated with contaminants and ceases to do its job. Carbon deposits form rapidly in the combustion chamber and find their way into the oil through blow-by, as well as through the oil's cleansing of the piston land and ring grooves. Water produced by combustion and condensation is a constant menace to efficient lubrication. Fuel dilution thins the oil. 
When water combines with the acidic content of partially burned fuel, it corrodes engine parts and enters the oil. The total result, sludge. It will foul piston rings, restrict and close oil passages, and ultimately lead to failure of the lubrication system and the engine. Sludge is an everyday occurrence in an improperly maintained crankcase. The use of inferior oils and the malfunction of fuel, air, and cooling systems also contribute to sludge formation. Overheating and overloading are also great sludge producers. And thus, the obvious need to keep the crankcase oil maintained. Modern engines feature a full-flow pressurized oil system. It consists of the oil pan, the oil pump, the oil filter, and appropriate passages to direct oil to all moving parts. Some engines are also equipped with a crankcase oil cooler. Preventive maintenance of the lubrication system starts with selecting the best quality of oil available for the engine application using the viscosity recommended in the operator's manual, constantly observing crankcase oil condition and maintaining the proper oil level. Does an engine burn oil? Most certainly. The piston rings meter a certain quantity of oil on the liner to properly lubricate pistons, rings, and liners. Normal temperatures within the engine result in oxidation of some of this oil. Remember the fuel, water, and acids that seep into the oil? They can replace the volume of oil that's been oxidized, thus causing the dipstick to read full and encouraging a false sense of security. The oil filter should be changed on a scheduled basis, at least as often as recommended in the operator's manual, more often if conditions demand. Remember, the operator's manual only states the maximum time the oil and filter should be used. Good judgment tells how often they should be serviced. Many full flow filters have a special built in bypass valve. When replacement is necessary, use only a genuine duplicate of the original filter. A quality filter has tremendous filtering capacity. Remember, the filter removes only solid contaminants from the oil. Liquid contaminants, such as water, acids, and coolants, will pass through the filter. Oil is formulated to keep them in solution, rather than forming into a harmful sludge. So the color of the oil doesn't determine the need for change. If the oil is really doing its job of cleaning and keeping contaminants in suspension, the oil will appear to be dirty even after a few hours use. This is properly formulated oil doing its job. Despite all the radio and television commercials to the contrary, don't use additives or dopes in the engine oil. Under the most ideal conditions, they might have a slight tendency to do the things claimed for them. But remember that the best oils are already balanced. They don't require any added phenomenal property. It is possible to upset the balance of the best oil by adding an additive. The best practice is to invest in quality oil and forget the dope. A modern top quality oil with maximum metal wetting ability and detergent can safely be used to help clean up dirty engines. When adding such an oil to an exceptionally dirty engine, remember that the carbon, sludge, and other contaminants will probably overload the oil at first. This accumulation of filth will be rapid and must be drained from the engine when the oil shows signs of thickening. Don't expect to perform the first oil change in the maximum interval specified in the operator's manual. Observe the dipstick closely until the engine is clean. Many factors affect oil consumption. For instance, on naturally aspirated engines, a restricted air filter creates a higher negative pressure in the intake manifold. So the pistons draw oil from the engine crankcase in an attempt to pull in more air during the intake stroke. Worn valve guides also allow oil to be pulled into the cylinder. The piston rings are designed to distribute oil on the surface of the cylinder liner in exact amounts. 
worn piston rings mean that more oil gets metered to the cylinder walls. Using the wrong oil, that is, an oil of the wrong viscosity, or lacking the needed additives can cause sticking rings. A sure way to spend lots of money is to buy cheap oil. Always allow the engine to sit a while before checking the dipstick for oil level. This permits the oil to drain into the crankcase. Since oil expands with heat, the best practice for checking oil level is to do it when the engine oil is at normal operating temperature and the engine has been shut down about 15 minutes. Avoid overfilling the crankcase. Oil should operate at temperatures above 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Cold engine operation permits excessive fuel dilution and acid formation. Preventive maintenance of the crankcase costs so little. The best oil, changed as frequently as recommended, more frequently if conditions require, and scheduled changing of the correct oil filter are the best investment you can make to avoid downtime and costly repair. With the fantastic productivity of today's machines, we can't afford lost job performance, let alone the costs incurred by labor and parts replacement. Lubricate, cool, seal, and clean. Those are the vital jobs performed by today's oil for today's modern engines.